what's going on everybody today we're going to be working on the rear suspension so i got these u-bolts made so what we're going to do is we're going to put the axle the jeep at ride height because that's where we're always going to be driving this thing at so we want it to be nice and smooth so what we're going to do with these is we're going to pretty much tack them on the frame like that once we have the axle sitting where we want it from there we're going to be making the tabs for the wishbone and for the lower links and once everything's done we're just going to cut those off and away we go also what that would do is that way we could have the jeep lifted on the hoist so we're not like you know crawling under there nice and comfortable nice welds so stay tuned and watch how we do this So right now we're just measuring the wheelbase. We marked it down before we started this. So right now, check what Gene is doing. 36 and a half to center wheelbase. 36 and a half. We good. We're on the money. On the money? On the money. Now we pack it in place. Hold on. Go ahead. Okay, you can put a pack now on either side now if you want. going to do now is we're going to be cutting a section out of this cross member because this is what the drive shaft sits on so this is going to go higher we're also going to be raising the tranny a bit just so the whole angle of the drive shaft is more in line with the angle of the pinion gear at the back James is just making a little caps. Now we're just gonna close off that piece that we cut. And this one is gonna go on top of this. Just gonna get some welds around here, 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 here. I should raise the whole pinion angle and everything should be in line with the rear and solve that issue. Turn check. It's gone? Yeah. Oh no, it's gone. So we gotta cut this off. As Sad, as sad as it is that these welds came out really nice, this has to go because the wishbone is going to be coming here. So at first we were thinking about just bridging this off, but uh, it's going to get too technical. So we find that we just cut these out, put a plate in there, smooth it out, and then start from here. Like our own cross member. It will be a lot easier, be stronger because it will be less joints and it'll look a lot more better too. So he's gotta go. Alright guys, 
So this piece that we made is just gonna cap off this hole. I'm gonna just do full weld all around and just grind it flat. Um, the other side already held on by magnets. And I'm just gonna fill in all these gaps and just smooth it out. Then I'll use the magnets on this side, keep it nice and flush, do my welds, and then we'll just grind it nice and flat, grind it in. And then from here what we'll do is we'll make the cross members uh, shoot up and back down and then the wish one will tie into that. So let's go get these welded in. So as you guys can see we just capped this off. So now however we want to make those pieces, the cross members, it's ready to go. I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna fully weld this uh, cross member that we kind of modified for the hanger bearing. And do some full welds around here. Cap this off. We have our pieces. So I'm just gonna go in there. I'm gonna weld that up. And that'll be nice and strong. All right, let's get it. All right, guys, another day, another day on the build. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be using this OEM cross member that was about here. Well, what we're gonna do is actually we're gonna clean up all these little studs and stuff that we don't need. And this is gonna go about here. We're gonna make our tabs off it for the wishbone gonna make like two by two towers that are gonna just like shoot up it's gonna go across naturally curve over and weld into here the OEM one which was about here was kind of in the way and it wasn't really giving us a, the proper room that we needed so we had to get rid of that start off with right now is we're gonna be mounting the bag there so we're gonna be just tacking that bracket there and what we're gonna do is we're gonna be working on the lower control arm links we went ahead and got our cardboard template made out James brought out Picasso and came up with this nice boot so this is gonna tie in the lower control arm and then this hole is gonna tie in the shock we're gonna get four of these made at a quarter inch metal and that's gonna be welded on to the actual axle
the mock-up right now is we're about to tag these on the lower links for the lower control line and everything is pretty much leveled nice and straight where we like it making sure that no binding happens So these pipes are going to be used for the, the front portion of the lower control arm. What we did was that we just took the cylinders like that and we cut the dome part off just to kind of finish the whole look. James is just going crazy, he's going to, you know, well without his mask. No protection. No, he brought out. Raw dog, baby. So there you go guys. Now we're just gonna shape that up. So right now we got the left lower control arm packed up into the home position. Right now this is at right height and pretty much half travel of the suspension. Bag sitting at 7 inches. And also what we did for the front was we took a 4 inch diameter schedule 40 tube and put a nice dome on it just to kind of finish the look. We went ahead and welded that in because we know that's not going to change. And this side is sitting nice. Right now we're just going to go ahead, find exactly where this has to go, so it's in the same symmetrical area where that is, and pack that in. We're going to be cycling the suspension today, so hopefully we get this done soon because we still got to work on the upper wishbone. Alright guys, so right now what we got going on is we're going to be working on the upper control arm, so the wishbone. We're going to go ahead, we're going to start out with the mounts, because we kind of know where they have to go. We're going to see where the wishbone lands, and then from there we're going to be either sectioning a piece out of the floor, so it clears. Well, we're going to start with this, and see what goes from there, but man, the lowers came out amazing. James came through, we had great visions for the front. But this looks, this looks fucking legit. Legit. All right guys, so we went ahead, we cut this much off, but it looks like we're gonna have to go in the actual floor of the Jeep, which I'm not too surprised kind of knew that was going to be happening but we wanted to go little by little just to make sure you know like a little hope or something so it looks like we're gonna have to go about here so it will leave us on this side we'll go here so there's this module that sits right here so as long as we can just kind of keep it within we'll be okay
All right, back over here, what we got going on, guys, is we got the U-bolts cut out. We're gonna be cycling this bitch now. So, moment of truth. Yeah. Does it say laid out? All right guys, so what we got done on this today is we got the wishbone in its home position and what we did for the bag, we mounted it on the lower control arm to give a side lift. We got the nice dome piece over there holding in the front portion of that lower control arm. For the front, for the wishbone, we got a nice cross member that we reused. Right now it's all laid out on the floor. Huge shout out to James, Army, and Suk. Again, thank you guys for making your time, you know, available and stuff for me. But this is looking, this is looking wicked.